therapy talk has absolutely taken over the entire generation, which is precisely why you see dudes with shit-ass politics also using the same spicy language. Babe, you're gaslighting me. <laughs> To Jarvis Johnson Gold, the Gold. premium channel that is free. Uh, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. You're gold. You're and premium. today we'll be talking about posting your own L's and how sometimes people do it on TikTok unprovoked. Specifically, we'll be talking about an account on TikTok called The Desirable Truth. The Desirable Truth has 653,000 followers on TikTok. They describe themselves as the voice of the people. The Desirable Truth microphone. So the question on the table is how do you- You have community members who turn into your most dedicated haters. This community has the right kind of mental illness, don't worry. One day I'm gonna crack the code of having, uh, one day I'm gonna crack the code of bringing all those haters back and then it's Jover, you know what I mean? Then I've fully actually, fully, fully uh, overcome all odds. How do you feel about her guy friends? The correct answer is who cares? How do you feel about her having guy friends? That's so really cool. So you don't care if she were to spend time with them one-on-one? -on -one? No, I think that's insecure if you do. How is that insecurity? These are leading questions. They're presuming that something bad can happen if a man and a woman who aren't in a relationship spend time together one-on-one. -on -one. It's a very insecure way of viewing <coughs> relationships. This is often <coughs> the case in these, these communities. They act like you need to prevent your significant other's access to other people because they're just waiting to cheat. In reality, if you have to completely control all of your partner's relationships in order to prevent them from cheating, then you're not in a healthy relationship and you shouldn't be in that relationship. Trust, trust is important, you need it, and without it, you have nothing. You don't think her being in that environment with another man one-on-one -on -one would? Her being in that environment with another man one-on-one? -on -one create a bridge between you two? Create a bridge between you two. Like, I just don't understand. Like, if I, I have female friends, right? And if they get into relationships, that doesn't mean that we stop being friends. It's just so insecure. It's just so insecure. Because at the end of the day, relationships are all about trust. And if you don't trust your person you shouldn't be with them correct 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 if you don't trust your person you shouldn't be with them and it seems like this guy has a really hard time understanding that very basic fact doesn't really matter if those friendships existed before me who am i to say no right at the end of the day as a man it's about being confident and if you're confident enough it doesn't matter in a lot of instances these like man on the street interviews will encounter like relatively normal dudes with surprisingly open-minded perspectives or surprisingly like refreshing perspectives and yet when you look at the comments it's a sea of like you owned him what a fucking cuck what an absolute idiot this guy is his girlfriend's on the phone probably texting every guy to fuck all of them at the same time she's gonna, she's gonna have a, a fuck fiesta lol and it's like like, no, maybe they have a normal relationship and he's like a normal guy. Why are you? I don't know. But some of them are also staged. So who knows? Maybe there'll be a fucking turn here. Texting her side piece right now. The gun in black is a G. Let's see. But why would. Yeah, because he's basically calling out the toxic masculinity of it all. I agree with this man. But why would your woman want to spend time? with another man one-on-one -on -one if she has you. Why would your woman is already so possessive? And like, he keeps asking questions, like looking. I know this guy and he said he felt he was roasted. Wait, really? There's a couple people that said they know this guy. What the fuck? This guy gets around, bro. All right, let's see the fucking actual video. God damn it. We always do this desirable truth. Is that what the fucking channel is? Tic Tac. Oh, cool. So you don't. The desirable truth. Here it is. I found it immediately. Wait, where the fuck is the... Where's the guy? The heck? I found it. How do you feel about her... Desirable truth. Anyone disagree is deaf and secure. If, some, if someone's going to cheat on you, there's literally nothing you can do to stop them. These comments are sad, bro. Bro doesn't understand friendship, and he's the one asking the question. 
Well, there you go. There's a lot of people in here that are like actually open minded as well in the comment section. Another man one on one and is important. Another man one on one would. Her being in that environment between get it's just. Be with them. Correct, correct, correct. If you don't trust your person, you shouldn't be with them. And it seems like this guy has a really hard time understanding that very basic fact. Doesn't really matter. If those friendships existed before me, who am I to say no? It doesn't matter. Agree with this man. But why would your woman want to spend time? with another man one-on-one -on -one if she has you why would your woman is already dude that's how i that's how i feel dude it's like fellas if you have a girlfriend okay and she's spending one-on-one -on -one time with another man like let's say she's got a fucking tutor or something that's it she fucking the tutor dog that's how it works there's no there's no version of this where it worked okay they're fucking it's jover i am a deeply insecure and nervous wreck but at the same time, I went to the gym a lot. So I'm going to put on this fucking hyper masculine front so that I can uh, suck in a bunch of silly billies who don't know any better and are also just as insecure as I am. He's so possessive. And like he keeps asking questions, like looking for a different answer. And it's like, you're not going to get a different answer, man. You're trying to introduce insecurity and fear into a relationship that seems, you know, that they are do not worry about these things that you worry about. It's like you're trying to project your deep fears onto these other people that do not have the fears. He's basically like, but aren't you afraid? Look under the bed, there's going to be a monster under there. And they're like, no, I mean, like, we trust that there's no monsters under the bed. We've looked under the bed before. And um, we've learned that there's nothing really to be afraid of. It's like, so you, you just are in your room in the dark and you don't look under the, I don't understand. But what if the monsters get you? <laughs> he just like does not understand the concept that they're not worried about what he's worried about. What we're going to see in the comments, I think uh, is going to be a little surprising because they're not good. <laughs> What's that? The comments aren't good on the internet? Yeah, something triggered her when he asked that question. Something going on. Bro lives in La La Land, rip. She doesn't respect him. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is... What is it with people like reading? Dude, it's it's literally because once again, we have removed all contextual analysis online. Everything is what you see is what you get. And everyone is hyper, like everyone is incredibly biased and and only gives you the world from their incredibly narrow framework. And because there are so many unimaginably insecure kids out there online and you have no idea that that's like a fucking pasty little nerd who hasn't even seen the world yet let alone experienced it let alone been hurt or been happy with another person you have no way of looking at that guy and 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 recognizing that that person probably doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about that's it and then you got oh thank you Men and women are too different to spend one-on-one -on -one time as friends without something else going on. That's crazy. That's insane to say, brother. Yeah, dude. When when me and my mom are watching a movie, it's fucking weird, dude. It, we're just too different, you know? There's no way. There's no way. Me and your mom, on the other hand, you know? It's weird. It's weird as fuck, dude. It's a weird-ass fucking thing to say. Your mom is not your girlfriend? What the fuck are you talking about? Your mom is my girlfriend. However, that's not even what I'm saying. You can absolutely, you can absolutely hang out with a woman and not have it be sexual. What the fuck are you talking about? What kind of a nervous wreck are you? Do you fuck every woman? Does every woman want to fuck you when you're alone with them? Is that how that works? The fucking tea leaves of someone's body language when they're being accosted on the street for an interview. They're out and about. They're busy. They're like having a night out. They've given you a little bit of their time that, you know, you did not deserve. And people think that they can, they know their, these people's relationship better than they do. How old are you? 23. How old is your man? I actually have a girlfriend. Okay. That's sick. So wait. He didn't expect that. I love, I wait, I love how just first off, thoughts here. Like he just really does not know what's going on. And he needs. The chat is a stupid thing, but your counter argument is stupid too. You didn't put context into it. My counter argument is stupid. What counter argument do you need to say men and women can have healthy platonic relationships without there ever being any kind of sexual undertone or sexual overtone associated with it? And that it all falls under the umbrella of like women and men are not all that different. They're all just fucking people. I can't believe I have to do like super basic stuff here, but I have to put it in the most like 
argumentative debate bro format so that like some people can legitimately comprehend what I'm saying. It's like people asking like, no, dude, you have to logically, you have to logically explain to me how men and women can be, how, how women and men are, are uh, the same. Logically, you have to explain it. It's like, well, at a certain point, you just, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to fucking unwind your brain. I totally agree with you. Just the counter argument of mother and son time is not valid. That's what I'm moving on needs he needs everybody else to explain to him what his opinion should be i actually have a girlfriend okay that's sick so wait are you bi straight or what i'm lesbian are you bi straight or what kind of a silly question to ask if you're straight after this person just told you that they have a girlfriend what made you realize you didn't like men i don't what made you realize you didn't like men what would you ask that to a man <laughs> would you ask that question to your bros hey bro like hypothetically what made you realize you didn't like men i'm just asking I'm just curious. Asking someone to explain why they are wired a certain way is not, it's completely pointless. She should ask him why he doesn't like men. Why do you think men care about a woman's body count? Oh my God, that's so stupid. People actually ask that shit. She is roasting him so hard and he's standing on business, you know? He's saying, yes, I need to know your body count. And I know the comments are not gonna be good. If a man is ever asking about your body count, you're talking to the wrong man and he can get fucked. <laughs> why would you post this? What do you think about the analogy? The reason why he's posting it is because he knows that like his audience is not receptive to her because she's a woman. Ew, yuck, gross. And it, 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 no one, no one in his in group is going to see that as like an own. It's like that. It's like that podcast where they have like a bunch of women on. And then like, if the women are trolling, they fucking lose their minds and they're like, get out of here, leave. And then everyone in the comments is like, you're such a fuck. You're my goat, dude. You're my goat. You really told those horrors. Hell yeah. It's like, this is the most insecure, nervous person I've ever seen in my entire life. This person is not projecting confidence, but because you are just as insecure, if not more insecure, you are looking at him and acting as though he has done something profound and cool. If one key can open any locks, it's known as a master key. Oh my God, dude. This is like, this is such a fucking fresh and fit ass question. It is not easy to be good with women. This is why men that have sex with a lot of girls are idolized. This is why guys that are good with women are respected because mm -hmm. most men can't do it. Mm -hmm. And this is why women that are promiscuous are not. Because a key that opens many locks is a master key. A lock that opens any key is a shitty lock. It's a shit. Damn, bro. Damn. That's, if only that's how pussies worked, <laughs> but it doesn't. That's not how that works at all. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. Shitty luck. I think that if a, no, if a woman is an analogy to you, then you're not fucking ready to be talking to a woman. And Ooh, goddamn, she smoked them. What the fuck? You should probably get fucked, so. Oh my god, why would you post this? Yeah, he regretted asking. Wow, this got 400,000 likes, dude. Everyone is eating him up in the comments. I mean, kudos to him for posting this because no one is- I'm not even- I'm certain he posted it thinking. First of all, these guys don't give a fuck. A, a view is a view, right? So even if they're getting owned, people are still watching. That's number one. Number two, when I, I feel like when these guys post these things, they're posting because they think that uh, it's going to be celebrated by their audience. Like their audience are going to, their audience is going to look at that and go, oh, this woman is a, a whore. And probably at first they do say that. And then it actually leaves the target audience. And all of a sudden, the broader online, uh, the broader online communities are just, you know, they're, they're looking at this and going, oh, you're a fucking idiot. On his side. How do you feel about your girl having guy friends? That's absolutely unacceptable. Of course, this fucking guy. Great value for Ro Williams over here. <laughs> what are you doing, man? He looks so cherry picked. No, he looks like Andrew Tate. Like, this is the most Andrew Tate ass looking dude. This is the worst part. Like, gym bros have always had questionable politics and shit. But nowadays, nowadays, gym bros are, like, significantly worse. I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm a little biased. But back in the fucking day, back in my day, gym bros were just, like, they kept to themselves. And they, they kept to themselves. And they were, like, kind of insecure. But also, at the same time, you know, they were, they were kind people. You know what I mean? They were kind.
now it's just like motherfuckers are reeking with like insecurity too like how did he even find this man i don't think that men and women can be friends this feels so staged what are the odds that you find this guy who looks like pharrell williams became a pickup artist and he has exactly your beliefs it's it's re it feels like it's i don't know i sense foul play i don't know also where are they usually they do these things uh, like on college campuses and stuff but or or like on the vegas strip or something i'll put it to you i'm almost certain that's the that's ventura boulevard it looks it looks a lot like that's I mean maybe it's not but it looks a lot like it's Ventura Boulevard. This way, I don't ever tell a woman what she can and can't do. However, is it if Miami? She does certain things, oh, then I'm wrong. I'm no longer with her. If that makes the sense. first it's video so crazy, dude. The first video looked like the first video looked like uh, the Valley. I'm getting such this video looks more Miami controlling vibes. He's presenting this like it's boundaries, but the boundary is that you cannot talk to men any other man but me so where do you draw the line uh if he's not your brother or your cousin or your father or your uncle then you shouldn't have any communication with them you know you know what that means boys no grandpas <laughs> if she's talking to her grandpa i leave her ass on the street dude no grandpas dude <laughs> yeah chatter's about to have smoke for jarvis be like uh jarvis actually that's not what he meant how about you debate him? How about you actually address the issue and don't try to add any like funny seasoning to the matter and debate him in a hyper rational way? Um, grandpas would probably fall under the same broad categorization of family members uh, being permissible uh, male partners that your female, uh, your, your, your femoid can uh, cohabitate spaces with privately. Um, you would have to give an example of a person that is not an immediate family member that a male and and uh, a female could be around in a platonic way. If she's taking a class with a male professor, sorry, that's a boundary of mine. You can't talk to him. I don't care if you're failing your class because of your participation grade. Don't show up to lecture. Father or your uncle, then you shouldn't have any communication with them, you know? Unless it's a coworker and, and it's only at work. You see what I'm saying? He has so many, he has so many qualifications. He has to go through like a flow chart to figure out whether or not he's upset that his, his girlfriend has talked to a man. <laughs> She's like, I went to the store today and uh, I saw a guy. And he's like, what? You saw a guy? And he's like, yeah, he, he was checking me out. What? He was checking you out? He was checking me out at the cash register because I was, I was buying a shirt. Nerd. He like squares up when the the mailman comes by. Hey babe, who was that at the door? Oh, it was a it was a mailman. A male and a man. <laughs> He's just got like a vein popping out of his head. Some women like to say, "Oh, I don't, you know, I don't look at men that way." Some women, some women say this thing of like, "This guy, he's like a." Friend, I call bullshit. That's impossible. A lot of women also like to say you need to be a little bit more secure, a little bit more confident. A lot of women also like to say stop objectifying me. A lot of women also like to say, can we watch what I want to watch on TV tonight? And I just say no, babe. That's that's my boundary as a man. And you cannot. Yeah, I hate that they're fucking co-opting like woke language too. Like it's always the same. The most reactionary dog shit motherfuckers will react like, uh, or, or, or not react, sorry, will co-opt the most social justice lexicon. And just like, or they're like, yeah, actually, I'm going to be a, the, the most unfiltered misogynist you've ever seen, but I'm going to do it by using the most woke terminology. Babe, it's quite problematic that you wanted to cohabitate a space with another male partner. You're violating my fucking boundaries, babe. How is that any different than, like, the fucking annoying male feminists that turned out to be, like, rapists and shit? These guys used to make fun of those dudes. The right-wing guys used to literally make fun of dudes like that. Okay? The crying dudes who are, like, using woke language while, you know, trying to get away with, you know, emotionally manipulating their their partners what the fuck happened these are the new generation i know uh, it's just like therapy talk has absolutely taken over the entire generation which is precisely why you see 
dudes with shit ass politics also using the same fucking spicy language. Babe, you're gaslighting me. <laughs> Cross that boundary. You need to trust your woman more, and it has nothing to do with trust. It has more so to do with our biological urge to be territorial with our women. After People say I should trust my woman more, and I say, no. <laughs> She's my woman, and you can't tell me what to do with her because I'm a man, a mailman. You have a delivery. It's me. <laughs> what am I saying? This is the vibe of these people. Guy friends are just friend-zoned men waiting for an opportunity to strike. It's so... To mm -hmm. strike? <laughs> that is... Why are you framing it like a battle, dude? They're just men waiting in the trenches when her guards down then they'll dude i addressed almost all of this in my early on andrew tate uh arguments and it's just the same it's just always the same it's insecurity masquerading as like hyper masculinity okay if fellas if you think there's just dicks out there all right standing in fucking attention waiting to fuck your girl you're out of your goddamn mind that's not like you're not in a healthy mental space to be in a relationship with another human, okay? You have a lot more stuff to figure out in your own life. It's crazy. They'll attack. It's like, or they're friends. This is crazy, dude. But before we get into that, let's hear from today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is an Ethical app that helps you control what private information about you is shared online. There is unfortunately a, a lot of information that can be found about you on the internet from your full name, your phone number, email address, physical address, names of your relatives. It's a lot and the reason that this data is available is because there are these data brokers that profit by selling your information to prying eyes thankfully aura can identify those data brokers and submit opt-out requests on your behalf to get you out of their system they'll even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists which i need i get a lot of bad mail i've been using aura for months now it's basically how i find out that my data is at risk because i mean just recently i got an email about a data breach for a service that i use and i was like uh oh well that's scary i ought to look into what to do and then aura tells me some things i can do i can make sure that that password isn't used elsewhere it really makes well, me feel no, like no, I'm on no, top no. of my information. And on top of all of this, Aura's app also features a VPN, a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental Sorry. controls, and it protects your devices from malware. So it's a lot in one app. So let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. Head on over to Aura.com slash Jarvis, that's my name, to get a 14-day free trial of Aura and see what information about you is out there. And thanks again to Aura for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. The views and opinions captured in these videos do not necessarily reflect the views of the creators. This is really interesting because the questions are very pointed. Realistically, you expect a man to spend $800 on a first day? Yeah. Has it happened before? Yeah. This is just insult bait. I truly do not believe that this person expects $800 um, from a first date. But, it, but, you know, whatever. Also, I feel like if you're into somebody, you don't... One of the best, like... What? Off topic, you had one of the most insane precogs this year in a chatter connected to the dots for me. You really yeah, are nope. Trump's ghostwriter. Okay, we'll do this in a uh, we'll do this in a little bit. Not gonna lie, people have been hitting on my ex nonstop and turned out she was sexting a bunch of guys while with me and ended up fucking someone that messaged her on Facebook. It's really not that uncommon as some of my friends experience similar stuff. Yeah, my friend, like this doesn't mean that there aren't shitty people out there. Yeah, of course the fuck wow no way dude you're the first guy that someone has cheated on in the history of men and women being in a relationship it's like yeah that's a shitty person you were with a shitty person she's a shitty person okay and you should be i know it probably doesn't feel great but it's you know it's it's good it's healthy that you guys are no longer together right the entire point is you have to look at that in a healthy way which is good riddance I dodged a bullet. What if I, you know, further went in further into this relationship with this person and then they cheated on me after we had like children, you know what I mean? And, and got married. The point is you're not supposed to carry that baggage with you to the next person that you see. You're not supposed to look at that and go, oh no, every woman is like this. I have friends that have also been in relationships like this. Every woman is like this. You can't do that. That's no way to operate. That's it. You don't even have to do a date that costs money. You gotta be rich as fuck like Elon Musk. Like, 
Like how much? Like Elon Musk. This feels is she the is she the same person? With feels so fake, dude. This has to be fake. No one's saying that. Like this is this is fake. Elon Musk would eat this all night. Okay, this is this is so staged, dude. Yeah. This is not a real person. What? The last thing I expected to hear in this video, and I'm not even gonna repeat it because I don't. Elon Musk does not eat pussy. Like, get the fuck out of here. Come on. If there's one lock, is that. Elon Musk is entirely too selfish to eat pussy. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. Yeah, also, who wants to fuck him, dude? He looks like he's got a, the most mangled cock of all time. I don't think those words should come out of my mouth. In fact, I do not think they should. But you heard them. 80 years old or 8 years old. He want to eat this pussy. It's like, nah. 80 years old? She said 8 years old or 80 years old? Like, 8? That's, that's crazy. That's okay that's uh that's an insane thing to say older eight years old. what the fuck is happening what is this no. what is this what makes you think he'd be interested in you first of all i'm so sexy oh this is extremely staged this is like omega staged how little do you think of your audience that they're gonna buy this gonna they're gonna buy it they're gonna buy it because there's a lot of dudes out there like that one chat who was like, I got cheated on my girlfriend. Women ain't shit. Women are bitches. They're whores. And then they fucking carry that resentment instead of like recognizing that this is like a unique individual. Okay. And that people can be bad. That doesn't mean all women are right. And they're going to fucking carry that resentment to every other relationship that they have in the future. And then that is going to also guide that relationship into death and destruction regardless because the reality is, if you have that kind of emotional block, if you have that hang up that you're that baggage that you have with you, uh, that you carry to every other relationship, you're not going to be a good partner anyway. Every single one of your fucking relationships is going to fall apart unless you fix that shit within yourself. And yeah, and and looking at videos like this only reconfirms the shittiest biases that you have trapped inside of you that you don't want to overcome. I'm really just a bad bitch. I don't give a fuck about nobody. I don't give a fuck. You know what? Every time you meet somebody, they die. What? What is happening? <laughs> what did she say? Okay, here's what I heard. I don't know what she said. I I heard every time I meet somebody, they die. You know what? Every time you meet somebody, they die. You everybody, everybody die though. Not take the heat. And that's point blank. Would you prefer to have your- It just moves on. Do you think most men want their woman to be all provocative on their Instagram or be more modest? They can feel free to do whatever they want and post whatever they want. Well, most of the time they do it because of the likes and the attention that they get, not for themselves. It says who? Based on what? You- Why, Is this guy from Toronto? He sounds like he's from Toronto, but he looks like he's in Miami. You gotta shut down the border, dog. No more, no more Canadians coming down here, okay? No more, no more motherfuckers from Toronto coming into America until we figure out what the hell's going on, okay? Nah, he has a Euro accent, bud. No, I feel like he's got a Toronto accent. You can't just... Since when did you become, like, a, a participant in the discussion and not an interviewer? This is no longer an interview. Dude, this guy is, like, auditioning for Fresh and Fit. When do you want your woman to dress provocative? <sighs> Bro, what about him? He's dressed up provocatively as fuck. My man's got tit meat hanging out. Fucking what the hell? Dude, yo, Andrew Tate literally made dudes dress so gay. What the fuck? This is another... Bro, he's even stanced up in the same way. Look! Same belt. The fuck going on? Same belt, same stance. Same fucking attitude. How'd this happen, bro? Are they cloning these motherfuckers? And do you want your woman to dress provocatively as opposed to modestly? What are these outfits, dude? What? I don't. I have no words. And I could see that her nipples were pierced. That wouldn't bother you? If I could see that her nipples are pierced. What is this hypothetical, dude? Keep it in your pants, buddy. That wouldn't bother you? I mean, people could look all day long. Hey, bro, you. Hey. You look all day long, but again, um, see guys, that's how you handle shit, all right? You don't be a little bitch about it. What just happened? What happened off camera? What did he handle? So if she was all with you, 
and I could see that her nipples were pierced. It is such a funny hypothetical. Dude, he's just saying it in the horniest way, too. He's like, her nipples are pierced. I don't know what it is. I don't know why he just sounds like he's he's like breathing heavy through that. He's like, in a, in a hypothetical scenario, what if your girl's nipples are pierced? Hypothetical. Mm. If I see her out, and she's wearing a shirt that says boobs, which reminds me that she has them. What do you do? It is almost impossible in modern day to tell a woman what to do. And I've tried. <laughs> it is tough. I cannot figure it out. Can you help me? It's good that he's having trouble telling women what to do. It really says a lot, though. I'm a, I'm a high value man. I make over six figures. God, I am a high value man. Dude, Andrew Tate, man. Andrew Tate, man. He fucking, like, obviously he didn't invent misogyny, right? misogyny is is already happening at the systemic level but he really branded it in such a fucking unique way that honestly it makes it easier to avoid in some ways because like they all look the same they all dress up the same fucking way man it's like how do you where do you find these people do this many people on the streets of miami speak in red pill lingo like i just something isn't adding up about this to me i have all my shit together i've been all over the world i've done all sorts of shit i've done shit more dudes <laughs> hold on he goes i'm a high value man i make over six bro he's wearing tuxedo pants why is he wearing the tightest tuxedo pants of all time with the Salvatore Ferragamo belt, with the tightest fucking shirt of all time, and it's just open down to his belly button. And all sorts of shit. I've done shit more dudes. <laughs> Hold on. He goes, I'm a high value man. I make over six figures. I've been doing shit. I've been, I did some shit over there. I've been all over the world doing shit. I've been, I shat somewhere over here. I've been shitting all over the world. <laughs> world. I've done all sorts of shit. I've done shit more dudes on this show probably. I've never been done before. <laughs> I've done more shit dudes on this show probably ever even done before. I've been shitting way more than these dudes. <laughs> dude, I shit so much. <laughs> I can't even count how much I've shit, dude. I'm a high value man. That means I've shat over six figures worth of times. It takes a lot for a woman to impress me. Like, I have a bunch of women in my DMs. I have a bunch of women trying to talk to me. That's, oh, that you're capping. You are, you are capping, my, my friend. I have a bunch of women in my DMs. All right, whatever. Okay, sure. I have a, I have a lot of women in my DMs. They're all saying, Bro, this, this actually is like the equivalent of like an adult doing the same shit that many of us, myself included, did back in the day. Like, oh yeah, I totally, I've totally had sex. <laughs> dude, so much of it, dude, over the summer. Yeah, at camp. And um, yeah, no, she's, she's like fucking not around in a different city, you know. And it's, it's basically, it's basically that, but like the adult version of that where he's like, yeah, I'm so sick. Women text me all the time. And they have a gift for me. And all I have to do is click on this little link and, uh, I will receive a nice gift. Then it made me log into my Instagram. So I did that. And then I got locked out of my Instagram. So I haven't been able to get back into it. If anybody um, has a contact at Instagram. The women in my DMs stole my Instagram. <laughs> One of the women said she was a princess in her country, but she just needed me to wire her a few thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Me being a high value man and investing being a big part of that. I figured this was a great investment uh, to just put forth a few thousand dollars and get millions of dollars in return. Because after watching the market, I think that was a great investment for me. But um, unfortunately, she hasn't <clears throat> responded after I sent the Bitcoin. I have a bunch of women in my DMs. I have a bunch of women trying to talk to me on a daily basis. I run around here outside, women eyes bulging out of the, the skulls and shit. No, <laughs> that is not happening. <laughs> me when I lie, dude, I run around here in Miami and the women, their eyes bulge out of their face and they're- Bro, when women, fellas, when women see me, you know what I mean? They got fucking steam coming out of their ears. Their eyes are bulging out of their faces, their skulls, their fucking chin, their jaw drops into the ground smacks the fucking floor hung rolls out like the red carpet okay they're going a wooga a wooga humana 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 literally every time every time i step foot around these parts it's crazy okay all in my dms i just can't freaking can't get rid of them there's so many of them when i was younger i did try to leave with my wallet 
and that's the worst fucking thing you could do. Do not lead with your wallet, fellas. Lead with your bare chest. Only button, one or two buttons. Button as few buttons on your shirt as possible. Lead with your chest. That way you show how masculine you are, how powerful you are. Wear tight pants, Gucci belt, front and center. Have two-tone hair. Make it really confusing. In fact, make your facial hair look like it was painted on. That'll really make the eyes bulge out of their heads. Do you think it's easier for you to get puss? I can get a lot of puss. <laughs> puss? What, what are you, Shrek? <laughs> Wait, who is saying? That's so, that's so lame, dude. That's so lame. Just don't say that. Don't you, don't, don't do it. I'm pretty sure this guy's a Torontonian. I fucking clocked it from a mile away. Sing. I can get a lot of puss, but I can't get the high value puss necessarily. That's what I'm trying to get at. So, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually struggling. Wow, that's huh, interesting. Perhaps that's a moment of introspection, you know? <laughs> I said die. <laughs> Just die. Oh. <laughs> All I'm saying is. Perhaps this requires some further introspection. Perhaps maybe you are running around and presenting yourself a certain way and like you're attracting people that are attracted to that. But deep down inside, you're like, uh, maybe this isn't great. Not healthy. Because like, here's the other thing. Okay. Women aren't fucking infallible either. All right. I'm not going to sit here and act like there ain't a whole bunch of dumbasses out there, especially in fucking Miami. Let's be for real for a moment, okay? Like that old tweet, I, I, I'm not a, I'm not supporting all women. Some of you bitches are dumb or whatever the fuck that tweet is. It's like, yeah, in Miami especially, there's a lot of ladies out there that are not necessarily great people and basically the female version of that fucking dumbass. Now, of course, obviously, under a patriarchal society, the, the difference is that, like, when you got someone who's a dumb broad, they're not, like, you know, they don't have the same... It doesn't carry the same weight as, like, a dumb ass dude who can, like, actually also kill you. You know what I mean? It's a little bit different. Oh, it's a little bit different. But having said that, this is what's very frustrating about, like, the, you know, the, the Fed and Fat podcast, right? They just, like, they always will self-select. In a lot of instances, they will self-select some of the worst people Okay, on uh, to to come onto their show, and then they fucking act like this is how all women are like. This is how all women are like. And then whenever there's a woman that goes on those fucking shows that actually is like, you know, uh, has like a, a a little bit of humanity in them, and is not just like a dumbass looking for clout, then they yell at them, and then they kick them out of the fucking studio. They're like, uh -huh, you're not doing my incel bait. You're not you're not doing the thing I want you to do. And it's so stupid. <laughs> As a high value man, what does high value puss look like to you then? I'm looking. <laughs> this is me. I'm playing Pokemon Yellow, and there's a trainer. They're called spinners. They're the trainers that like look in different directions, and so you have to like walk past them while they're not looking. I'm looking. I don't see none out here right now. All right, let me set the stage. My friend is in town for just a night, and he's like, hey, I want to eat at a five star restaurant that's nearby. Do you know any places? And this is how I respond. I'm looking. I don't see none out here right now. Yeah, these are all like whores. Or... <laughs> they don't dress nice for their homegirls. They dress nice for us to try to get attention. It is so wild to be saying this with a fully open shirt. And who are you doing that for? Whose approval are you looking for? for I didn't realize people even avoided the trainer battles on Pokemon, by the way. This is a new phenomena that I am encountering as weird. Like, why would you do that? He being a 35 year old man, I try to talk to them and see like what kind of uh, knowledge they have going on. Oh, wow. Well spoken too. As a 35 year old man, I try to figure out what kind of, what kind of knowledge. Bro, you're a 35 year old man who says puss. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. That's crazy. Like, yeah, no shit, dude. You should literally kiss the feet of any woman that even graces you and dignifies you by giving you a crumb of pussy, okay? You should be very excited at that prospect. 
if you're a 35 year old man who's like, man, these bitches are fucking rank, dog. Uh, I'm trying to get me some top shelf puss. Like, oh, uh, fucking yeah. Like, d- dude, what is happening? What's happening in your life? How did you get so fucking stunted? Okay. That is crazy. These women have. Hello, ma'am. What knowledge do you have? Should you have any say in the friends that your girlfriend keeps around her? No. What if you could tell that they're probably playing a bad influence on her? I mean, I'll voice it to her. I'll be like, oh, your friend's a hoe. Dude, Miami. This guy's making you look bad. It cannot all be like this in Miami, dude. Slip in like little like, you know, but I won't get on her about it. Because at the end of the day, I don't control who she can be friends I'll pepper in your friends a hoe, but, but I won't get on her about it. I mean, I'm a gentleman. I'm not going to be that helicopter boyfriend that's like, I don't want you hanging out with this person. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the least misogynistic Miami male. I don't know why Jarvis is laughing at him. This man is like what you get. I've, I've given up. I've given up. That guy is probably... The most woke guy in a 35 mile radius, okay? He transformed in front of our very eyes. You're hanging out with this person. I don't want you hanging out with that person. That's not me. That's Igor, my demon (laughs) that lives inside of me. That's not me. I personally don't believe in platonic friendships between women and men. I don't believe. What is happening? What happened? What? I. I, Bro, I'm serious. I, I just. No, I was going to say, like, I feel like being only online broke people, but then also at the same time, no, there's plenty of people who thought this way back in the day, too, you know? Like Santa Claus? That's crazy. You don't believe in it, so you think everyone everyone's lying. Everyone that has a platonic relationship is lying to you. That's crazy to me. He's just a friend. He's my cousin, even. Come to find out, I was either cheated on or they've been talking to him, or they go ahead and fuck them when we're done. Dude got... Wait, okay. If if you're talking to your partner and they lie to you about the guy that they're talking to and they say that the guy is your is their cousin, yeah. That's a really fucking Also, he made it seem like this is something that happens to him all the time. He's like, "Dude, I'm always hooking up with girls and then they're like, that's my cousin." And then it turns out I'm like, "Whoa!" Deborah, why are you sucking your cousin's dick? That's so gross. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. They're like, no, 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 this is my step bro. Bet- betrayed by his cousin. <laughs> I think that that's like, that's bad, obviously. And it's, it's, it's shitty, but it is not a reason to cast such a broad net. That's on them. That's, that's people being bad, which people can be. They're allowed to be bad, but that doesn't mean you throw the baby out with the bathwater, you know? Do you think that most American men would want to go for the American woman or foreign woman like you? I think a foreign woman. So like in Ireland, we don't have people like you. So when I see people like you, I'm like, shit, man. Oh no. What does she mean by that? She means someone from Toronto, right? Right? That's what she means, right? She doesn't. What does that mean? We don't have people like you. Oh, brother. What is happening right now? Are we witnessing true love? Is he going to hang up the alpha male interview series and walk off into the sunset with this Irish woman? Oh, black people? (laughs) Oh, no. It got worse. No. It's like you want what you can have, no? So do you want dark chocolate? Oh, my God. I need to bring. Damn. he's, He's so rizzed up, bro. Like, how are you? How are you coming across like such a fucking goober? You mentioned earlier that you don't understand why people would avoid trainers and Pokemon, but haven't you only played like two games and never even played a 2D classic because your Pokemon Yellow got stolen as a kid? What? No, I fucking played all the Pokemon 2D games. What the fuck are you talking about? I went and I got new ones. Shut the Break fuck up. Break the screen. <laughs> Make you? it go away. Dude, is this his line? The How first time you? we see him flirt and this is his line. Do you like dark chocolate? I am going to gag. <laughs> I am never going to eat dark chocolate again. I was planning on eating this later. I will not be doing that because I don't think I can stomach it. Dark chocolate is my favorite. Dark chocolate. What? Dark is chocolate is my, my favorite. favorite. Especially when it's eighty-five percent. Wait, what do I have here? I got seventy percent. So dark she chocolate. I'm not dark chocolate enough for her. I'm hundred percent dark chocolate. Shit, man. That's maybe 
too bitter for me. He fumbled this somehow. He somehow fumbled this. This is the face of a man who has, has lost it. He's lost the plot. All right. I'm going to go, I don't know, watch some basketball or something. Why did she say that? Like, that was weird. She was so gross and weird, too. Which is odd because, like... Like, he's also fucking gross and weird. It could have been so perfect. They could have literally... It, it was a match made in heaven in the weirdest way possible. They both fumbled it together. You know? He fumbled the weird fetishes. Yeah, I, that's like... How do you do that? How... It, it takes grit. Temerity. It takes resilience. To be able to, to to be able to fumble someone who openly is like, I am fetishizing you sexually. God. All right. Well.